From Lady Liberty's surprising little secret to what's possibly lingering behind the tomb at Yale, here are nine secrets and famous monuments. Number 9. St. Basil's Cathedral Located within the Red Square of Moscow, this impressive display of colors and architecture was completed in 1561 by Tsar Ivan the Terrible. Despite it having religious origins, due to its uniqueness, it's basically become the most well-known building in Russia and it has fairly dark past that not everyone knows about. It will more than likely show up on their postcards and is one of their national symbols. Although Russia isn't necessarily known for their cheery, peaceful history, the story behind what happened here after it was constructed was quite grim. It's believed that after the cathedral was constructed, Ivan the Terrible ordered that the architect be blinded so they can never recreate such a masterpiece anywhere else ever again. When communists took control of Russia, they preferred that everyone follow atheism, so they weren't too fond of having a religious structure in the heart of Moscow. They decided eventually not to destroy it, and they actually burnt down all the bells except for one original. Number 8. Secrets of the Vatican The Vatican's secret archive is completely shut off from the public and is owned by the Pope in the Vatican City. This location is actually its own nation, and is visited every year for its high concentration of historical monuments. Some believe that evidence of extraterrestrial life or other documents that would discredit the Catholic Church lies within. Others firmly believe it's just a personal collection of documents available to the Pope and he just doesn't feel like having the public getting their hands on it. Popes are always seen as being slightly more spiritual than others in Christian faith. It's known that some important religious documents are sealed within, but what else could there be? Journalists, students, and historians are not given access to the Vatican Secret Archive. Many of the documents are believed to have extremely important historical documents, such as a letter from Michelangelo, scrolls from Templar Knights, a letter excommunicating Martin Luther, letters of forgiveness from royalty, notes of the trial against Galileo, and much, much more. There's an estimated 50 miles of shelves here, and much of it may forever remain a mystery. Number 7. Potala Palace Located in the former capital of Lhasa lies a mysterious yet great building that sits over 2.5 miles above sea level and is a true relic of Tibet's former greatness and power. At such a high altitude, it appears as though it could have been constructed by angels. Also, built in the 17th century, it took over 7,000 workers and 1,500 artisans to construct this architectural wonder certainly adds to its mystery. Another reason this is such an enigma is because it's so much different than any other culture's palaces. Rising 13 stories high, it features exactly 999 rooms and was once the center of Tibet's government, the residence of the Dalai Lama, a monastery, and a mausoleum for Tibet's previous Dalai Lamas. Others claim that the former royalty of Tibet might have been storing some type of treasure that hasn't been discovered yet by the Chinese. It's rumored that there's an underground labyrinth with a vast complex of tunnels that stores rare ancient books belonging to the Dalai Lama before he was forced into exile. The Chinese did come across some tunnels when repairing the foundation. Legends tell about dragons being kept here underneath the ground, but there's no evidence to support this. The palace is shrouded in too much mystery. Number 6. The Parthenon, Athens While exploring many remarkable ancient Greek ruins, you may notice the Parthenon in Athens isn't exactly in its best condition. This enormous temple, dedicated to the goddess Athena, was certainly one of the finest examples of Doric architecture and completed in the 5th century BC. But it certainly hasn't only been used as a place of worship throughout its history. It saw its first violent occurrence when it was looted by the Romans, but eventually the magnificent artwork known as the Elgin Marbles has ended up in the hands of the British at the British Museum. The Greeks have wanted their artwork back for quite some time now, but the British refused on the grounds that if they did that, then everyone would have to return everything to its country of origin. Many don't even know these magnificent artworks even exist. On another note, it's been through quite a bit of punishment throughout history, and it's truly miracle it's still standing and not some mythical place. In 1687, the Ottoman Turks who occupied Greece used the ancient temple as an ammunition and gunpowder storage depot. The Venetians bombarded the city and the Parthenon exploded, destroying much of the temple and its artwork. When the Nazis arrived here in 1941, they raised the swastika flag like we see in this photo, but a defiant young Greek climbed up the pole and took it down. Number 5. Georgia Guideline Stones Alright, time to get into more conspiracy theories on monuments that you should be familiar with. The Georgia Guideline Stones are a set of runestone-looking statues in Elbert County, Georgia, and many are quite confused with their presence. 
Sets of governing guidelines are inscribed in eight modern languages as well as four ancient languages including Babylonian, Classical Greek, Sanskrit, and even hieroglyphics. Here we see the ten guidelines that are inscribed on it. One of the strangest would have to be maintain humanity under 500 million people. When there are nearly 7 billion people on this planet, that means a lot of people have to disappear. Also known as the American Stonehenge, this was constructed in 1980 by an anonymous branch of Christians, but not many are exactly sure if that was the real case. Some believe this was actually constructed by a group of preppers for some type of nuclear apocalypse scenario during the Cold War. Mark Dice, a conspiracy theorist, claims the guidelines are in fact for a satanic secret society. The monument has received quite a bit of vandalism, even recently in 2014. Number 4. Skull and Bones Tomb There are certainly secrets located within the Skull and Bones Tomb found at Yale University in Connecticut. This is a high-profile university where many influential people, including five presidents, have graduated. An organized secret society, known as the Skull and Bones Society, is extremely exclusive about who they let join. The members of the society are commonly referred to as Bonesmen, and their main facility is referred to as the Tomb. Some believe that new members must drink fake blood from a real skull. They get their name because rumor has it that they go out at night and steal bones. Some claim that the Skull and Bones Society is focused on a conspiracy for world control and is a branch of the Illuminati. The tomb has become a landmark at Yale and has become a famous symbol of secret societies. It wasn't originally a tomb, but constructed to look like one. Rumors have it that inside the tomb are bones that have been dug up by members of the society from ancient Native American burial grounds. Number 3. The Statue of Liberty You might be familiar with the Statue of Liberty in New York City as a symbol of power, freedom, and as a gift from a friendly nation. However, you might not know that Lady Liberty might not be all so lady after all. First of all, it's very possible that the Statue of Liberty is actually representing the sun god Helios, who is featured at the Colossus of Rhodes. The seven little pointy things coming out of the Statue of Liberty's head was never actually associated with Libertas in ancient Roman times, who many claim the statue represents. However, we can find plenty of portrayals of rays coming out of Helios's head without any coming out of the goddess Libertas's head. Colossus was created in the 3rd century BC with a crown of solar rays like we see here and depicted holding a torch. The Statue of Liberty has also been known as the New Colossus, and the closer you really look at its face, you can kind of get the idea that it might actually be a man. This photo here displays an early model of the Statue of Liberty in Paris before it gets shipped over to New York City. Priests of ancient cults were known to wear longer wigs as well as robes, plus Helios has also been depicted with long hair in many cases. Anyways, you would imagine that they would have given her a little bit more of a feminine face if she was meant to be a woman. This was originally named Liberty Enlightening the World, kind of like what a sun god would do, right? We encourage you to look into this one further on your own and let us know what you think. Number 2. Place de la Concorde if you've ever been to the beautiful city of Paris, you might have seen a bizarre ancient Egyptian obelisk in the heart of the city. On one side is the famous Champs-Élysées, the other side, the River Seine. At first glance, you might be wondering, what is this obelisk doing here, and what's it actually representing? It takes a little further examination to understand completely why. Keep in mind, this is the exact location where King Louis XVI was executed by guillotine. The obelisk is also the same symbol adopted by the Freemasons seen at the Washington Monument. France and the US have quite a bit in common when it comes to revolutions. Freemasonry was accepted by France around 1730, which rose to the philosophy of revolutions. Before you know it, a few decades go by, and King Louis XVI was executed by a reckless mob of anarchists. Some are quite firm to believe that placing the obelisk at this location was because of the secret brotherhood that we often refer to as the Freemasons. And number 1. The Leaning Tower of Pisa This famous monument is basically only known for its lean, but there's also quite a few secrets of this tower that it's holding onto that you might find interesting. This engineering blunder took 200 years to complete, but only 5 years within its construction it began to lean just a little. Not only does it look like this famous monument in Pisa is about to topple over any day now, the Italian government prefers it to look that way. That's right, this tower is basically a hoax so tourists can come visit it. After spending plenty of time trying to ensure that the tower doesn't fall over, they decide to let it lean just enough so it stays unique. 
They know darn well how to fix that thing so it could stand straight up, but that wouldn't bring in too much tourism, and it would just be like any other lame renaissance tower. It was also once used by the Nazis as a communication tower and an observation post. It was certainly a good location to keep an eye out for the Allies trying to march through Tuscany. It was also almost targeted by an airstrike. A young spy, Leon Wexstein, was sent to get as close as possible to it and was ordered to send recon about this place. Luckily, for this historic location, it wasn't crawling with Nazis or it's very likely it would be completely blown to smithereens. Hey guys, thanks for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day.